and the laundry room hydroponic garden expands. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and cleaned off this rack. Got a couple more six gallon buckets, I guess you would call them, with four plants each, like I did over yonder with the kale. But this time I have green beans and two different types of, uh, well, one's snow pea and one's a just a sugar pod pea. I don't know. You know, the flat kind and the round kind, edible pod peas. Same thing over here, though these plants are a little more runty, so hopefully they grow. I actually doubled up on a couple of these because they had extra plants, and I'm like, I don't like to waste plants. But with the idea being that all complete, we took up what was kind of just wasted space. I mean, we were storing stuff here, as you can see, similar to this side. Your next... But um, yeah, so so not not uh, it's a good. I think it's going to be a good use of the space. Got eight grow lights going on, shining down on many many plants. We basically have infinite amounts of kale, and soon hopefully infinite amounts of edible peas and green beans. So very excited about this. I will keep you updated as this continues to grow, and give you an idea of exactly how much food we can produce in this little space. But uh, I'm excited. I'm excited whenever I have the ability and space to grow more plants because that is my absolute number one passion. Yes, growing mushrooms is fun, but plants, plants are my jam. Love it to pieces. So anyway, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on this video. It helps my channel immensely and it takes you but one second to do. And I would love to hear your thoughts below. What else should I try to grow in this laundry room? I'll find more space. We need to grow more and more food, especially with the cost of everything these days. Time to get growing.